This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. The body of a man believed to be in his 50s was pulled from waters at the Woods Rogers Walk on Friday evening, leaving criminal investigators with the task of finding out the circumstances behind the incident. According to police reports, officers were notified shortly after 7 p.m. that the body of a male was submerged in waters, and as a result, the Marine Support Unit of the Royal Bahamas Police Force responded. They retrieved the body from the waters and transported the male onto the land. Emergency medical technicians were waiting to administer medical assistance, but they confirmed the man had no vital signs of life. His body was transported to the morgue at the Princess Margaret Hospital, where an official identification will be conducted. The sudden death of a female tourist over the weekend is being investigated by officers from the Criminal Investigations Department. The 67-year-old woman died on board a cruise ship here in the Bahamas on Saturday. At this time, no foul play is suspected, and an autopsy will be conducted to determine the exact cause of death. That said, a Royal Bahamas Defense Force Marine has found himself on the wrong side of the law. The 27-year-old Seabreeze Lane uh, resident has been arrested for unlawful sexual intercourse. The Royal Bahamas Defense Force officer allegedly engaged in sexual intercourse with a 13-year-old female between 2020 and 2023. Police say the file is presently being reviewed and the suspect is expected to be charged with multiple counts of unlawful sexual intercourse. A stabbing here in the capital late Sunday night leaves one man in hospital and the alleged assailant on the run, or the alleged assailant on the run. Police reports indicating that shortly after 11 p.m. while at a home in the area of 9th Terrace, Centerville, two males got into a heated argument. As a result, one of them produced a knife and stabbed the other to the left chest. Emergency services were contacted and the 49-year-old victim was transported to the hospital where he is listed in stable condition. The suspect fled the scene on foot, headed south onto Collins Avenue. Police investigations continue at this time. Police are appealing to members of the public who may have any information about this or any other criminal matter to contact the Criminal Investigation Department at 328-TIPS. That's 328-8477. The police are also advising members of the public to find more peaceful ways to resolve your conflicts as violence is the problem, not the solution. Minister of Works Alfred Sears, along with Permanent Secretary Luther Smith and contractors, toured the Thomas A. Robinson Stadium to review what could be done in time for the 50th Carifta Games being held in just a few weeks. Although the stadium was only just built in May of 2014 or completed in May of 2014, the contractors cited various issues due to the lack of upkeep. There are still questions as to if the electricity transformers and fire suppression is in operation or operational. Other issues include plumbing issues throughout the building, cement crumbling and exposing steel, rusting of pipes, chairs, railings and cosmetic works such as painting and pressure washing of the building. Minister Sears says they are looking to conduct as much emergency repairs as possible before the start of the Carifta Games on April 8th, 2023. And finally, again today marks the 74th anniversary of the modern Commonwealth. As one of 53 countries in the Commonwealth of Nations, the Bahamas joined in celebrations that took place at schools throughout the Commonwealth. It was particularly special, a special day for students at the C.H. Reeves High School as Minister of State for Social Services and Urban Renewal, Lisa Ramming, gave a thought-provoking message for the students. And all I needed, I didn't need to be the smartest in the class, you know, because I was not the smartest in the class. I had one thing that kept me, perseverance. I persevered no matter what. I believe that nothing is more important at this stage of our national development in the country than to seize the opportunity to affirm and celebrate our young people. Nothing is more important than that today. I want you to repeat after me, and some of you, if you're wise, you're going to remember this. Say, I was born to solve a problem. I am the solution to a problem. I will release the greatest in me. One more time. I was born to solve a problem. I am the solution to the problem. I will release the greatest in me. You better remember that. 
Driving home the importance of keeping the tradition alive is organizer for this year's flag ceremony and head of the Social Studies Department, Ms. Lisa Roll. Um, we've been a part of the Commonwealth since 1629, basically. And so if you look around, um, a lot of stuff that you see is British tradition. Our school system, our law system, even a lot of our buildings and architect. And so it's very important to keep that alive because a lot of our kids are not really aware of where some of these things are coming from. Um, we practice a lot of things and then sometimes when I ask them, well, why do we do this or why do we do that? They really can't fully understand. And so it's very important for us to keep this tradition alive because it's been a part of us for so long. As we embark on our 50th year of independence, students and faculty members will have a day, or they had a day, uh, to experience all things Bahamians, including a cultural show. They enjoyed some Bahamian cuisine and much more, keeping the Bahamian culture alive. That'll do it for your JCN Evening News. Once again, I'm Jorino Saunders. Thanks for joining us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.